Leaders, leaders, my leader, so nice to see you again in this meeting. And basically in this meeting, I'm going to talk about how you guys can get started on your augmented reality development journey. Um, I'm going to be sharing a bit of tools and all those kind of stuff that are needed to start your journey. But I just want to uh, give you a context to what actually brought me uh, to start with, with, with this video. So, I've been teaching augmented and virtual reality since 2019. And I've been asked left and right uh, by some of uh, the students or candidates and some of you are now my friends that have come to my sessions that were happening in the real environment to say, um, these sessions are happening in Saturday and have, uh, they used to happen in Saturday and they have a very limited time. Can you please record these sessions and put it into onto YouTube so that we can be able to follow up with you to actually continue to learn about augmented and virtual reality? And I mean, this is fair enough, uh, but to be honest, I've been so lazy. <laughs> that I've never actually recorded some of these tutorials. And then I thought maybe it's time now um, I should start recording these tutorials. A lot has happened uh, since, uh, since 2019 in AR and VR development. We've been witnessing great products and software kits that have been launched left and right. Uh, one day you're sleeping, the next morning when you're waking up there's another thing, while you're still happy for another thing, hey, the next time when you're waking up, aha, there is another product, you know. And this thing could somehow be so overwhelming uh, for majority of expiring AR and VR developers. So in this meeting that I'm having with you leaders, I, 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 I actually wanted to map out our AR development ecosystem um, so that you guys can understand the hardware or the computer that you're gonna need to develop these experiences so that you guys can understand the devices that you're gonna test or publish your app on these devices so that you guys can understand the software development kits or libraries that you need to be able to build this kind of experiences, you know? So, and in the future meeting, I'm, 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 I'm aiming to also do one for virtual reality do one for the metaverse and so that you guys could have a clear understanding. But all this uh, ecosystem will be followed up with tutorials for you guys to get your hands dirty and start building your cool ideas, bring them life, your cool ideas so that more people could start enjoying them. So without further wasting your time, uh, let's get started. So to get started, the first thing that we have to do we have to understand these two words, augmented reality. So when you go there by YouTube, say, not YouTube, hey, I love YouTube so much, I talk about it, even if I was not actually talking about it. You have to go there by Google, you say augmented reality. It will start to give you a long explanation that says that uh, augmented reality is superimposing of digital media into a real environment. Hey, my leader. That's a big English there. Hey, 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 that's big English, you know. So sometimes me, I like to simplify stuff and make stuff to be quite simple so that the next person could understand our uh, augmented reality beyond technology. So that's why I went to chat GPT. Come on. That's why I went to chat GPT uh, to start trying to define each weight separately as individuals. First, I said augment. Can I get synonyms for augment? So it says augment is to increase, expand, enhance, boost, raise, add to, amplify, multiply, strengthen, intensify, heighten, enlarge, supplement, upscale, escalate. That's what it says are the synonyms uh, of augmented or augment. So let's check reality. So for reality, it's actuality, existence, proof, fact, re readiness, uh, authenticity, this one I cannot say, guys. Ah, this one I cannot say. Please say it for yourself. T 
tangibility, materiality, sustainability. Hey, another big word. <laughs> Sentinity, uh, verity, presency, tangible and factual. You understand? This is what uh, the definition of reality would be. So now by combining, that's why we have a plus sign. It's important that we have a plus sign here. By combining these two meaning, we can eventually come out with our own simple definition of what is augmented reality. So if we take expand and we take existence, we can say that augmented reality is expanding the existence or augmented reality is enhancing the proof or augmented reality is boasting the fact. So from that point, as a creator, you start to see something. You start to see something to say, hmm, if I'm building an augmented reality experience, am I expanding the existence? Am I enhancing the truth? Am I adding to the facts? Am I amplifying the authenticity of this particular thing? You understand? So from that meaning, I start to have understanding of what is meant by augmented reality without actually talking about technology. So now when we're coming back to put technology in, we could safely say augmented reality is taking um, it, 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 it's taking the digital media, 2D, 3D, audio, video, and text, and put this thing into the real environment. You know, in, it, it enhances our reality with, 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 with text, with 3D, with audio, and with, with text. Did I say text? Yeah, I did say text. With text just to make our environment to actually look more different than ever. So we boast our environment with such media. You understand? Why I'm saying environment? Because usually reality is what you experience at that given time. You understand. So now that we understand a simple definition of what is augmented reality, now let's start beginning with mapping and understanding the tools of augmented reality. Leaders, augmented reality can actually be um, delivered or distributed in, in three ways. The first way it's with social augmented reality. The second way, it's with web AR. And the last way, it's with native AR app. I forgot to put app there. But it's with native AR app. And I'm going to explain each method separately. Let's start first with social augmented reality. So social augmented reality. From the word itself, yes, yeah, social, it can explain this exists on social media platform. It doesn't exist out of those platform. Like whatever content that you're gonna create, that content you're gonna be publishing to Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. You understand? This is where your target audience is gonna be. It's gonna be within that social um, arena. Some of you could have seen examples of people making their face to be dogs or people putting sparks on their face, uh, their twinkles, twinkles, sparks on their face and doing all those cool effects on their face. So usually that falls under social augmented reality because chances are most of people that you could have seen or that content, you use it to defend the social media that we already know about. So the tools that you need to actually start that Basically, you would need Lens Studio. So Lens Studio is a software by um, it's a, it's a, it's a development uh, software by Snapchat that allows you to create content that will be published on Snapchat. It's augmented reality content that will be published on Snapchat. Then we have Spark AR. Spark AR is basically uh, for Facebook. It's now called Meta Spark AR. When I started, it was called AR Studio. Then it went to Spark AR. Now it's called Meta Spark, uh, Spark AR. You know, so Spark AR is basically creation of content, augmented 
it's a studio that allows you to create uh, augmented reality content uh, that will be published on Facebook and Instagram or even Messenger. Even Messenger, you could still publish your content in. And then the last one is Effect House. So Effect House, this one is the latest entry into uh, social augmented reality uh, studios, uh, development studios. So this one is focusing mainly on TikTok. So whatever content that you create cannot be shared in any other platform. It's going to be published on TikTok. So depending on the needs that you have, uh, us, you could be creating, if you want to create something for your brand in TikTok, then you choose Effect House. But if you are targeting Instagram and Facebook, then you choose Spark AR. If you are targeting Snapchat, then you are choosing the Lens Studio. So in terms of hardware requirement that you need, usually um, these studios are quite lightweight. So you need a simple Intel Core i3 PC. I mean, even uh, the MacBook Air could do some of these experiences without sweating, without it breathing so hard, you know. Yeah, because sometimes when you work in other systems, you start to breathe so hard, like you start to feel your PC it's suffering. <laughs> it's suffering badly, you know. And then, once you've got all those hardware requirements, now, who, who is your target user or, or what are target devices? So, most smartphones that can download uh, these apps, like your TikTok, your, 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 your Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, um, all those four apps, they can basically, uh, your users can basically be able to experience your augmented reality uh, uh, solutions or experiences, you know. So that's what makes it more appealing to a lot of brands to say, uh, we already have a marketing, we already have a social media page, uh, so we need this filter to be attached to our page so that people, while they're engaging with our social media content, they can also engage with our filters. The last thing that is also nice for you uh, creators is the fact that it's super free. None of these tools you are paying. It's super, super free from building to even publishing it. That's how easy it is uh, to use social augmented reality stuff. So let's go further to view other tools that we have. So the other tools that we have, I mean, the other method that we have is web augmented reality. So what augmented reality, how is it different from a social media augmented reality? I mean, you could have judged it. The other one exists on, on social media platforms, but web augmented reality exists uh, on browsers. So this one, basically when I see a nice uh, table that I want to buy, I can take it and send it to my partner and say, hey baby, do you like uh, this table? Should we bring it at home? And my partner can view it just through the link before downloading any other app. You understand? So web augmented reality basically work at, uh, on the browser. As I say, the requirement will be different. So any other PC can do it as long as you have the latest home from 63, version 63, up until the latest, Safari 11 up until the latest, Firefox up until the latest. Each smartphone that has this browser, uh, this browser installed, your experience will be able to work. You understand? So the tools that you're going to need, you're going to need Zapworks or Zappa. Please guys, these tools, you can Google them, but I'll try by all means to put them on, on the description so that you guys can be able to click them. You're going to need Zapworks and Zapam, 8Fall. 8Fall uh, is the most robust and popular one. Uh, Blipam, my web, X, uh, my web AR, I said XR, my web AR, and Swift XR. Swift XR, it's, it's African built and developed there uh, from Nigeria. So it's, it, it's a great tool. You guys should check it out and play with it. So, uh, target user devices, most smartphones with browsers such as Google Chrome, Safari, and Firefox can experience your augmented reality uh, message or experience that you want to get to the people. So, when coming to pricing, these solutions, 
They have three tiers. Usually they would have three tiers that is limited with features. But then they have paid subscriptions. So here you pay Baba. Here it's nothing for Mahala. You, you pay. You pay in that day. So when you're going here, I, I think my personal preference would be Zapwex. Um, because it can work within Unity, which we're going to talk about on the next slide. Uh, it fall, it's so robust, it's so way ahead of its time. Uh, but my man, yo, 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 I uh, you'll pay. Yeah, yeah, but it fall, uh, you'll pay. I hope they drop their prices, but their prices are crazy, I'm telling you. <laughs> so let's go to the last method. The last method, it's native augmented reality apps. Now you're asking yourself, what is native augmented reality app? Ah, but so what are you talking about now with native augmented reality app? So native augmented reality apps means that this app is an app that's going to be built for both Android and iOS. So for your users to access them, they need to be able to download it on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. That's what it means by native. So this one requires uh, to be downloaded, whereas this one works on the browser, and this one works on social media platforms. So, but let's talk about native augmented reality app. So tools that you're going to need, you're going to need either Unity or Unreal, but me, uh, I'm there by Unity. I'm a Unity that I had there. So I'm on that camp of Unity. So I use Unity. And you're going to need Vuforia, which works well with Unity. Um, one SDK that you're going to need is Vuforia. Or if you don't want to use Vuforia, you're going to need AR Foundation, which is usually uh, it's from Unity. It's called Unity AR Foundation, which combines AR Core and combines AR Kit together. So when you are typing your code and making your own experience, that product you don't actually have to go and write uh, um, an android app or an ios app separately with just one library you can do it for both then we have lightship rdk this lightship rdk comes from the company that is behind uh pokemon go and now they have pyro dot so lightship rdk uh, according to them they claim that this is a software that actually create Lightship ARDK, you understand? So, I mean, this is a software that actually created, uh, um, what's that? Uh, Pokemon Go and Piri Dot, you understand? So now, from a couple of weeks, I mean, from last month, the beginning of, 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 of June, then Vision OS was launched. Vision OS SDK, which is the new uh, mixed reality asset uh, from Apple, was launched. So now we already there is that SDK that you can uh, start playing and building with. There is also Reality Kit that can also help you to start uh, playing with Vision OS. So quite of requirement that we need. So native augmented reality because of its advanced features that it requires. It will now still to you will now still to have require um, PC that are that are quite uh, powerful from Echo Five or better uh, from um, better uh, Max. I would suggest uh, MacBook Pro uh, because I've coded on on MacBook Air uh, using Unity and that MacBook Air was not happy at all. It was breathing so hard. So it was not happy at all. And the target user or the device would be uh, when your users should make sure that they have Android 7 or upwards. And for iOS, they will need to make sure that they got um, Vision 13 or upwards for them to actually enjoy your experience. Remember here, guys, they still have to go and download your app. So, in terms of the pricing, most of the stuff, most of the, these tools are free. Uh, Buforia is the one that I know. Sometimes if you want to remove the watermark, you see on the, 
uh, when we start to get our hands dirty, um, you see the watermark from Bukhore, and sometimes if you want to remove that watermark, you're going to have to pay uh, something on that, you know. So guys, just a quick recap, uh, native augmented reality is going to require you to download. Uh, you are building the app that you're going to publish on app stores. Um, um, and this kind of content uh, is going to have to be downloaded on Android 7 upwards or iOS um, 13 upwards, you know. So it's different tools altogether to build a native augmented reality app. And then we got web augmented reality. No need to download because it can work on browsers. And we are using Zapwork, Zappa, Eightfold, Blipper, my Web AR, and Swift XR. And then we got social augmented reality, which exists, or it's the experience, your experience that you created, it's only going to exist on social uh, media. So with that being said, I hope you guys can start seeing where 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 do you wanna create which platforms or which kind of method do you want to create uh, content for. I know some of you would want to do uh, all three methods all the time. That's what I like to do. But some may just say, I just want to know one particular software. It's also fine. Once you find something that you like, you can just focus on developing on that. So leaders, I hope um, this actually, this meeting that we just had, has actually uh, helped you understand the AR development ecosystem and what is required for you to get started. And in the next meeting that we're going, we're going to have, we're going to get our hands dirty. Uh, I mean, I cannot be talking, J, uh, comrades, and talking and talking without us actually building the actual fear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get prepared. Uh, till we meet again, leaders, let's keep building.